15 laps. That's about by the margin that the Germans are still here. Just keep thinking of Al Pacino, John, in, in any given Sunday. Life is a game of inches. <laughs> might want to rephrase that. Life is a game of millimetres. That might be more apt. Oh! We always do a lot of movie titles, you and I, don't we? You're a bit of a movie star, I think so. <laughs> Oops. 30, 15. It's a bit loose. Hewitt, not quite the tallest man on court, six foot five, just a couple of centimetres shorter. He's one metre 96 than uh, Sasha Zarev. 40, 15. 26 years of age, he has a birthday next month. Nine in the world in singles, has been top 30 in doubles and has collected four titles on that particular tour. Oh! That's an easy opener for the tall pole. First game. Casey, you're courtside, and uh, just behind you, there's a whole bank of Polish fans. They might get very excited and topple over the front row there. Oh, evening. Well, I hope that's not the case. I hope they cheer loud, but not topple all over me. But uh, this is exciting, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of fitting that we finish the United Cup with a live mixed doubles as a decider because... So many of the ties have come down to the mixed doubles and it's just super exciting. Uh, uh, every time I say someone's got a slight edge, like in every mixed doubles I've predicted, the other team has won by a slight edge in the super tie break. So What's your sense on this one? John's going Poland. Alex mm. is representing yeah, Team Germany. Look, I'm, I'm actually going to go with Team Germany. They've really improved in the, in the second one yesterday against Australia. So, yeah, Team Germany for me. Casey, after you've just after <laughs> what you've just told us, that means uh, the polls might win. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> May the best team win. No, they were very good last night. Uh, Siegmund Zerab teaming up for the second time. They were pretty impressive over the Greeks, Zachary and Petros Tsitsipas in the quarterfinals. Zero teamed up with Angie Kerber for his first couple of outings in the mix, being the Italians very comfortably and then having a match point against the French. Against Garcia and uh, Eduard Roger Vasselin lost 12 10 in the match breaker. 14. They were good against the Greeks and, of course, saving those match points against the Aussies in the early hours of the morning. I think his head hit the pillar about 6 a.m. He has a couple of titles on the double squat as well with uh, his brother Misha. But he's never really played regularly on that tour. There are lots of discussions, John, about Iga's new service motion. What's your sense of it? Iga Schwantek representing Team Poland. Something's working. I mean, she's playing so well, isn't she, in singles? And uh, look, players of this ilk, they continually strive. I, I, I think time will tell. Now, now that, though, is where... My gut feel is that 
15, the Poles uh, have it a little bit over the Germans. I, I, I think Hubi really reads the play well. He reads it more like a natural doubles player, I think. Sasha not quite as good in that area. He's got all of these other strengths, no doubt. where Laura Siegman though that's where she's dangerous because she will bump that ball short every time and, and move forward and then she's in her place of safety up near the net that's where she's good and that's something that Egan will have to deal with here and she might be out volleyed by the German quite often I feel like we need to give her a nickname the cage you know because she's so cagey <laughs> maybe I don't see that the serve is that much different, is it? Casey was looking at it earlier and just feels it's a, it, the swing you... It's really hard unless you can sort of compare the previous serve with this one, but the old serve used to go all the way down like a pendulum. Right, right. And this is a more abbreviated motion. I think the sense is it's maybe a little too abbreviated. Oh. OK, there's a miss from Ruby. I wouldn't expect that too often. I think she's still in the same hitting position, which is there, right there. I don't see a lot different there. Maybe what happens beforehand is a little different. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely abbreviated. It's in my concern is the load through the shoulder, to be honest. I feel like getting that coordinated kind of throwing motion, there's just a few moving parts in it. Yeah, as you said, time will tell, though. We'll, we'll see how it holds up and over time. Yeah, and there she goes. Just a reminder. Yes. Starting point. If it gets juice, there will be just the one point, and there will be woman to woman or man to man. And if we split sets, there will be a 10 point match tie break. And we've had an awful lot of those over the course of the last 10 days. There's the first break. Game. Team Germany. Team Germany lead two games to one. Here at the United Cup, and everything is on the line. Can Poland pick themselves up after making such a great start with the women's singles? It was all going so well. Representing Germany, Laura Sigmund to serve. Didn't have that 
tape on her leg last night, did she, Sarah? No, she doesn't, but she's... she's uh, I say this, I've seen her tape up a lot, as you have over the years. I think the slightest niggle, okay. she gets a, a little protective of it all. And she's got the compression socks on as well, which are we're not a fashion accessory, they're just to help uh, get the, the blood flow moving. John's got his on as well, so we're, we're, we're set up here. Uh, that's unkind. <laughs> get that, Venus, Casey, don't get think that ca Venus return going, John. I'm disappointed Casey was encouraging you then. Oh, no, <laughs> you, actually, we could gang up on you, righty and a lefty. <laughs> Good move from Sasha there. And there'll be some... 15 all. Chess played, you'd think. On, on the serves here by the guys at the net. Goodness me, he's done well, hasn't he? He's played every single match, singles and doubles. And don't forget, he's played three days in a row. Yeah. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. He's going to remember these two days one way or the other for a lot of reasons. That's become obvious very quickly here. 13, Reads the play, move to the right place. And you can see why she's one of the best in the world in the women's game. And a Grand Slam champion. A lot of that has happened on the hard court as well. US Open winner with Vera Zonro. Those two are so KG finalists this year again in New York. And that mixed title with Mate Pavic. Oh. What I love about Lauren Ziggini is she wants the ball. She's not afraid. She's like, hit it to me. I'm going to chase it. I'm going to scramble. I'm going to hustle. Whatever I need to do, I'm going to find a way and bring it on. And I love that about her. She's not afraid. Well, at some stage, Sasha is going to have to move there. Yes. And point. this is where a bit of nip and tuck happens on a doubles court. If, if he starts moving a lot, then maybe on Eager's return of serve, Hubie needs to stay back. Because if he goes forward, Sasha's going to have it. If he, if he moves at the right time, he'll have an easy put away through the ankle. So it's got a lot to do with what Zverev does at the net. Oh, he's moving back. Second successive game decided by just the one point. It's a clean 
take. And the Germans confirm their advantage. Well, they're such big points. You know, there's been two of them in the last two games. Germany's won both of those sudden death points. That's, that makes the difference. Sasha held his ground well, and this is a good move. He read that backhand beautifully. She has done through their mixed doubles matches, and they've got a unique connection out here on the mixed court. I love it. Zverev's just walking around, sometimes looks a little bit lost, but Laura's just intense. She keeps him on track. Yes. <laughs> oh. He's just playing from memory right now. He's so tired. The dynamic is that Laura tells him what to do, when to do it, <laughs> how to do it, and he just does it. Oh. Yeah, you can see, I think, Casey, from down there, you might have a better view or a better idea that Sigmund puts the ball away and in places that are more awkward, doesn't she, than uh, eager and, th and that facet of the game, the volleying. Yeah, that's what doubles is about, isn't it, Fitz? It's about getting in your opponent's face, but making them feel uncomfortable, making them feel like they have to overplay or do more, and that's what Siegerman does well. And obviously, Sviontek's ball is a beautiful ball to hit. Oh. But Siegerman makes you uncomfortable on the doubles court, particularly. This is becoming a little bit interesting because they're going to target Egan now. Isn't, isn't it amazing? She's the number one singles player in the world. They're going to target her now. They've seen her mess up a couple of volleys at the net. Once again, this time though, Sorry, it'll be Hubert to Alexander. Well, if they lose three sudden deaths in a row in one set, that usually is a death knell for that set. Yeah, this time it goes the way of Poland, but it's Team Germany up a break in this team opening Germany set. of 10 days play at the United Cup group stages in both Perth and Sydney but this is the home of the finals in its second year still a competition in its infancy but building stories building its own history and we've had so many dramatic moments over the last week and a half Time. And the mixed doubles well has been the star of the show
15 love. Last night, I'm watching Sasha throughout this event. It's been very tough to break, hasn't he? he? Looks like he's so secure on. So I don't think he was broken last night at all. I think we should check. Well, he serves at such a high percentage, and this is a this is a 200 kilometer plus serve virtually every time. Yep, yep unbroken. Serve, yep. yep, last night. And look how many first serves he makes. So that's like picking cherries at the net when you're standing there. And again, actually against the Greeks, just look at my score sheet. They didn't lay a hand on him. I think her catch should be quite similar. Game to Germany. Regulation hold. Well. Team Germany lead four games to two. I think Egan needs a lot of first serves. If she, if she misses a first serve, she's going to have to face Laura Siegelman at the net. And that, that's not the best matchup for her. If she has to come in and volley against Laura, that, that puts her in a vulnerable position. So she needs the first serve into play here. being smoked. 15 love. Take that. Ego, you know how heavy her forehand, but I love how she gets around this one. Had some width to work with and just rips that one. Cross court. Yeah. Too when, good. When she won in Paris as a teenager, I think there's only one male player that had a bigger forehand than she did. Oh. In terms of average speed. Before his eyes there. <laughs> <laughs> Hubie's too nice a guy, Casey. He wouldn't. He, wouldn't he was tag then. Him. He actually <laughs> was then. Well, this is a good game, isn't it, for Poland? Gives him a chance to break Laura next game and get back on an Poland even keel. Um, slightly feel for Sasha in this game. He's getting absolutely pounded on his side of the court by Iga. Interesting, watched a lot this week. Iga has been practicing with Hubie Hokatch. I mean, an awful lot. So she's having an, getting an unbelievable workout. Yeah. Oh, that's about the best game she's played so far. And Poland. Hang on in this first set.
We're still going here at this United Cup. Thirty in the evening, local time. Once again, a very late finish at Sydney's Olympic Park. Time. This is where I'd stay back if I was Hoobie. Because what that does, it allows them to get into the point. Um, if, if they stay up, it gives Ferrer the chance to finish the point a bit easier if he, if he goes at the right time. And if he is going to stay up, Fitzy, I think that if I, I would back Eager returning, I think he's just too far back here. If he's going to look to move, he needs to cut off the angle. He needs to be closer to the net and really put some more pressure on Team Germany there. Let's. him in Perth play mixed doubles he targeted the line a lot more than this and I think if he go if he's good enough to go in the alley here off Lara's serve then you can't expect Sasha then to put the ball away you'll at least get another another shot but if you go across court you have the possibility of doing what he just did missing or Sasha knocking the ball off cutting it off <laughs> and the reason they missed, they've missed the last two is because they're scared of Sasha there Gee, good serving game. Well, considering Sasha's serve, that may well be enough for the first set. Team Germany lead five games to three first set. Jeans and on this quite good eager whose father was an Olympic rower. We've got Hubie's grandfather who played volleyball for Poland. His mother was an 
a junior national tennis champion. Both parents swam at university. And you've got zero for his parents for tennis players. And I can vouch for his father. He was good. Yep. There he is, yeah, Alex you, Senior. You used to play against him, didn't you? I you played him you, once. He beat you. He beat me. I've been reminded of that a lot this week, by the way. It's a great hold. Team Germany lead five games to four for six. Again, it is the late, late show here at the Ken Roosevelt Arena. Time. Zero has lost the first point against his serve in mixed. That's a rare error for Lara at the net. That was a poor volley that just Love came too quickly. Well, at, at Love 30, would they have a 50-50 chance? I would say law of averages. No, not against this serve. I think the Germans are still favourite here. Because that's all it takes. 30 all. Well, this return has to be low. It's it's a split second. You have to meet this served 199 k's that one, but it's tough to hit it right out of the middle. You have to hit it low to the net to ask the question, not a high one. Well, that's point 
down in the singles. Had that shot then just a couple of millimeters uh, further to the left. Uh, we wouldn't even be having this mix now, but look at where the Germans are. Chance to take this opening set. Team Germany take the opener by six games to four. End of the men's singles match. Or end of the second set, I should say, of the men's singles match. The job ahead now for Poland. 15 left. Yeah, it was always going there. That's you. These uh, team events, they, they emotionally, psychologically, they really do take it, take it out of an individual. I mean, the, the poles, you should have seen them just before they walked onto court. They're all sitting in the back corridors uh, in the bowels of this Ken Rosal Arena, and they were just all very quiet. No one was talking. You could, you could feel how down they were. It's almost the downs are bigger, aren't they, when you feel like you've let your teammates down, and the highs are greater when you get to win, and are they still in this? They haven't quite sparked up yet. Yeah. 
There's that caginess again. Well, she just wants the ball, doesn't she, Fitzy? But I'm interested in where Sviontek is standing. She's pretty much in the tram lines so far back. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure that that's the ideal position when Hubie's returning. That may have been an out ball. I'm not sure from this angle, yeah, Casey. Yeah, out ball for me. Okay, little glimmer of hope once again here. They're just starting to get into the Zerev service game. Don't forget, uh, end of that first uh, Sasha at Love 30. I mean, even to get anywhere near near his service games is a, a sort of mini victory. Yeah, you need a bit of luck from 30 or on that serve, don't you? You never know. Wow, my goodness. Here's a little door opening for the Poles. 13. How rarely Zera faces a break point in mixed doubles. This is a new experience for him. And Team Podem will have a, given the scoring system, will have a couple of goes at it. We just talked about it, Sam. Yes, I can, because this is a United Cup and crazy <laughs> things happen. Team <laughs> on the... Of course we're going to a deciding tie-break. Of course we are. And we probably are. We, we... And there'll be a match point saved. How about that? That's what the crystal ball says. Well, it's destiny. That will give them a shot in the arm, won't it? This became, this game is uh, also big, isn't it? To hold here would give them a real head start in this second set. Malika well, is full of beans, isn't she? She's on a 16 match winning streak in singles. Second longest of her career, full of confidence going into the first major of the season. Oh, good oh, move. Oh, 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 but. but what a good move. That's a natural mover on a doubles court there. She, she read that play beautifully at the net. Gee, right in the chest. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. There's a line ball, Fitzy. We haven't seen too many line balls. 15, 13. I like this one. He didn't overplay it, but Ziegerman's got such good feel and such good hands. He just does a great job, great feel. And that's what uh, the great champions can do. They can find it when it matters. And given the alteration in technique, she can serve every bucket of ball in practice that she wants, but 
doing this under pressure in the mixed is invaluable. in good position now in this second set. Team Poland lead three and three laps second set. set two coming. Team teams set off in the United Cup 10 days ago. This multi million dollar team event where men play alongside the women to open up a new season. And it looks as if it's going to come down to the wire. Poland taking on Germany for the rights to lift the United Cup trophy. Time. I think that's the one he has to rip down the line more often. Because even if even if Sfera gets his racket on the one down the line, they'll get another shot. But if he if he goes across court with the return and Sasha moves, he can he can put that ball away a lot easier. Better percentage down the line a few times, I think, from from the first court particularly. He's listening. Well, if he's stagnant there, he's not as anywhere near as effective on the volley. Zverev. If he moves, he'll, he'll most likely put it away if, if, if he gets his racket on it. Big difference.
wonderful shot. 14 13. Well, she's given them a chance to set. It she's, seems. Always, she's always dialed in, isn't she? Yeah. Every second. Good competitor. Stop Sasha from sort of mentally wandering off somewhere. You could probably forgive him a little bit yeah. these, after good. these last 48 hours. here this second set probably would have put a nail in it I think if they'd broken there the, the poles Angie can do late nights she's done a few with Liana hasn't she <laughs> being a mum has been great training for her comeback at the United Cup thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen nice already. thank you 15 love In fact, two mums on the bench sitting next to Tatiana Maria, who we haven't seen take to the court. But she's been a very good team player this week. Oh! Body? Maybe not. Trying to whip that across court. Not sure it was the right shot. Oh! Too good. You know what she what she does well, Laura is. Well, a lot of things, but 15, she keeps her body momentum moving forward, and that sort of takes the takes the ball with it. She hits, comes forward, and then that does that gives the opposition less time to react. By the way, oh. there a miss hit volley from Sviontek and the ball goes short off the frame there you can see drops it short makes it awkward bit of luck oh that was a brilliant pick up from Zubin I feel like Herk has played the right ball with her moving forward and getting it low at her feet but didn't she just pick that up beautifully? She just always manages to find a way, does Siegelman. Gosh, they're good combat players, aren't they, the Germans? play and would you believe it we're back on serve in the second set Team Germany. Team Holland lead three games to two seconds Thank you. 
time. Well, if Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine can't get them going, I think nothing will. Well, I really feel like Hubie has to, he has to try to take over the court more, impose himself more here. If the Poles are going to have a chance and the Germans, they, they, they look good at the moment. Doing everything right on a doubles court and uh, they will take this match if uh, Poles don't make a stand here. Solid. I like the Germans just play so good from behind and every time their back's been up against the wall in so many matches throughout this United Cup that's when they have lifted and played some amazing incredible tennis. So much of that middle part of the court open. I know Ziggerman can often play the short balls or the angles, and Eager's trying to ca cover what she can, but so much of that middle part of the court open purely because she's almost standing in the tram lines while Hubie's returning. Let's Clever. That was a thinking man shot there. Didn't need to blast that one. He just held the forehand nicely and angled that ball out of the reach of Sviantec. They just have a bit more momentum, don't they? It seems. Doesn't phase Laura at all. She shoots the ball early, he's got plenty of time, and just waits with an open racket face. Ball chase, please. These next two games, they play a mighty big part, don't they, in the, the outcome of this United Cup. New balls can have an effect. I feel like just going directly at Hubi, as you said, with Zverev when Hubi's moving and he's got some momentum, he's dangerous, but stagnant at the net with new balls, didn't control the volley. Yeah, I, 
He's got to go the other way too a little bit. You can hit the winner easier if you go off with that one. If you pull it back that way with nothing on it, gee, you're asking for trouble there. Gee, Lara was there. She missed a golden opportunity. Was out in for Yash Viontech. But what in those early years when she was on the tour? But we didn't see her out there too much last year. But she did make a final actually at Roland Garros um, back in 2021 with Bethany Matak Sands. Good heavy second serve, wasn't it? It was the bounce that caused that miss hit. That's a great service game. And a vital hold. Destination of this United Cup still very much in the balance. Through her last series game, come back from a, a double fault at 15 30. This is the big chance, isn't it, for the Poles right here? moments in sport matter and this is this is it well, certainly a major one in the outcome here
And that was the mini blip in the last service game that opened the door. As always, Sigurd just pushing the time clock a little close. Get a violation in the semi finals against the Aussies. from Lara and a big miss from Hooby. Gee whiz, that would have been two break points there for him to serve. deciding point of this second set. Well, yes. don't underestimate deciding how good that Sviantec forehand was. That was difficult. The lob was perfect on the line, and she makes this shot down low down the line. That was well, low-ish down the line to make Zigerman volley up. That was a heck of a play. It's been coming for a while. Yes, he's got it. Things looking up for Team Poland. Team Poland. Team Poland lead five games to three. Second set. Well, the sudden death points decide matches. So every player on court now has been broken. That makes things interesting. The catch to level this contest. Oof. Love 15. Don't count out the Germans. They, they love a deficit in the scoreline. Be trying to hustle their way back into this uh, particular set. It's interesting how our champion thinks, though. They want the ball. Spiontek wanted that, didn't yep. she? She moved a long way, a bit too long in retrospect. 15. Broken in his last service game, so he won't be taking anything for granted here. But it's in the script, isn't it? Final set. Uh, 10-point breaker to decide the destination of the United Cup. Oh.
Wow. Virgil. A miraculous find from uh, Sasha Zarev. He has come up with it all night, hasn't he? Both in singles and on the doubles court. I'm not going to see a better lob all summer, are we? Oh, no. Just as you thought everything was going their way. There's a new wrinkle here. Please. Thank you. Yes, the starting point. And it's also a set point. Where does he go, Fitzy? Well, he went wide last time. He got burnt. Middle. Complicated, and we're still going in the second set. of this United Cup. It's going to go down to the wire, isn't it? Of course it is. I mean, of course it is. you've been saying that for a while now. I think you're right. It's, yeah. it's been in the air, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure what the script is. You mentioned the word <laughs> script, but 
The script's telling me exactly that too. Did I say at the beginning of this match that the guys would hold their serve comfortably most of the time? I mean, we could we could erase that if you want. <laughs> You're too nice. <laughs> I, can't, I think my memory's not so quite as good as it was. <laughs> I think you said they'd struggle at times. Well, I don't think Sparrow has, has lost one, has he? Yeah. In mixed doubles? Yeah, he was broken. No, but before tonight? Not tonight, no. He must be on fumes. Yeah. The amount of tennis yeah. he's played over the last 48 hours. He might book an extra night into the hotel in Sydney and just yeah, sleep for 36 yeah, hours. Yeah, could do. Siegerman will be heading to Adelaide. She's got a special exempt into the main draw. Flying around of late. 14, 14. Well, the mentality there, and we saw it on the break point, the sudden death point in the previous game with her case. They're backing their serve to be their best shot when they do that. It's fraught with danger, though. It's a percent point for Team Poland. Can they level up? Please. This set was only a couple in the first and a third chance for the Pulse to take this into a 10 point match tie break. Standing pretty wide here, isn't he? There's something here that says destiny for Germany, though, isn't there? That they have been hanging on like this for over 24 hours yes. against the Aussies and all night tonight. A lot of character. What a forehand this is. Stunned. Oh. 
15 all. In the second set. Team Poland. Team Poland needs six games to five. this final the next half an hour because the last train from Sydney Olympic Park it's one minute after one could be a close run thing time there couldn't be more contrast between the team zones right now there's so much talking in team zone Poland and for I think they're all talked out in team Germany letting them play. She prefers to do that, doesn't she, than, uh, than punch the ball deep. Like a heavy volley, she likes to take the speed off it. It's a favourite. Good lateral vision, you know, I've got to give her that. Lara, she saw her catch move, so she went, she went the right way, but just overplayed it. And again, they have a chance, another window of opportunity for the Poles. Almost surprised to see her miss this. She's made so many spectacular shots over the course of this week. Oh, what a way to bring up three more set points 
Surely now. That's Casey's coaching. She's still got it. <laughs> Down the line. This might turn into a mirror image of the semi-final. What an opening One, point of this 10-point tiebreaker. Team Germany. And all the shots for Iga Schwiontek to miss, and it was a forehand. Well, the thing about a 10-point tiebreaker is that there's a long way to go. And when you play a seven-point breaker, it feels quick. It suffocates you quickly. But 10 points is a long way. Well, you're so right, Fitzy, because the same thing happened. Australia got off to a great start early stages of the match tiebreak yesterday, but the, the, the end felt so far away still. Yeah, dead right, Casey. They, they led, also led three, love, with one mini break. Ended up... Uh, Losing 15 13 after two match points. Let's. coming in here. Gee, what a serve. That was clutch. Second serve, you knew Sigmund was coming forward if it was anything like an attackable serve. Oh, 
happening. And the lead is extended. Oh. You could just see once again, it's for me, it's the fact that she just wants this one. And she knows Sasha's made this return. She waits and times this perfectly. And as Fitzy's mentioned, she likes the short one. Got to be moving up for that one. But great feel, takes pace off that volley. That's a lifetime of volleying practice right there. It's a big lead now. Well, this is almost a must-win point, isn't it? Not quite, but it's it's so important that Poland get one of these back. sudden heavy favorites now the Germans. Just a reminder, first to ten. It's not a lot of energy left in that Germany team zone. Six to team Germany. served over the last two days. See, he's got that leverage, the trajectory down into the court is 197, six foot six. Too good. Yeah, it's a wonderful motion, isn't it? Those legs can't be a lot left in them. Team Germany. Stranger things have happened, and the Poles need to stay positive here. Team Germany. Sasha's so in the zone, he didn't realise it was another change of ends. Well, just giving him the wind-up. 
I'm sure he doesn't want to go and sit down. No, Casey, he might he might cramp. Not. Exactly. And like Sam said earlier, I do believe like he's just playing for muscle memory. He's played so much tennis now. It's just see ball, hit ball. So do you want going to the into the AO? You, it, it, it'll just need a little lot of hit around on on sort of the Friday before and he's ready. ago about this time they were down and out against the Aussies facing match points they really have been the comeback team and it's Germany now with United Cup point They deserved it, Sam. They really did. I mean, Zverev was a mighty warrior, really, in tennis parlance this, this past few days. Right through the whole event, but particularly the last two days, wow. He stood up big time. And one of the storylines is Angie Kerber coming back from uh, giving birth, bringing her baby Liana here, getting her first match win in 18 months in the semis, saving match points against Isla Tomljanovic. Yes, the, uh, the Zverev camp, super happy, and uh, they certainly won't feel those tired legs tonight. Lara Siegman, she's been a revelation. What a doubles player. Yeah. She has evolved into... Gee, you can tell what it meant. There's the number one player in the world. She's having a tear or two there, I think. That was a big loss for Poland and a mighty big win for Germany there. No one can deny, though, for me, that they deserve to win that. They, they were pushing uphill for the last 24 hours in both matches. They certainly were. They've had a great spirit, led by Torben Belts. Uh, a very wily coach and character. It's been a happy team who arrived, actually. Uh, they arrived early, they arrived a few days before Christmas. We put the preparation in. And they are crowned 
United Cup champions. What a great comeback for uh, Angie, one of the super moms on the tour. And for Sasha, 12 months ago, he was still struggling with that ankle injury after the surgery in the previous June. He wasn't fully fit. Comes in here, though, off a great year. In a match like that, it's tough to really place a lot of emphasis, isn't it, on, on the stats, because they're always going to be pretty close. And the scoreline was close. The big difference in this format is the sudden death points on games. They make a In the first set, they made a massive difference. The first two that came up on either team serve were, were won by Germany, and that set the tone for the first set. That got them to the match tiebreaker, but they dominated that though. They got ahead and stayed ahead, didn't they? Didn't, didn't really put a foot wrong. And this is how it ended just uh, a few minutes before one o'clock on a Monday morning. <laughs> just a little bit of joy. <laughs> And she can add a United Cup trophy to uh, the Siegmund ca cabinet back in Stuttgart. Along with some of her Grand Slam silverware. Nothing like a team event. And in tennis, we don't experience it too much. So when it happens, it's quite joyous for the victorious side. And a great experience for yeah. the runners-up as well. Yes, they'll realise that uh, when the disappointment subsides in maybe a day or so's time. She's played her heart out. Play wonderful performances in the singles for Shiontek. But I think we're quite close now to the presentation ceremony. John, it's been great having your company for the mixed Th doubles. You're a great you, champion Sam. yourself, so uh, Thank you, it's in Sam. very good hands. And with Casey as well, we're just setting up uh, on court as we show you some of the last moments from this year's United Cup. It was memorable, wasn't it? I think from start yeah. to finish yeah. in and both Perth and in Sydney initially. And a competition that's certainly building on last year where the Americans were the champions. A team of individuals, men and women, coming together to play for their country. That's the concept of the United Cup. Long may it continue to open the season and those images will be flown around social media and probably on the, certainly the back pages of some of the big German newspapers uh, on Monday morning so we're nearly nearly ready 